But I meant to change the yeah title change right. Yep. Title change. Done. All right. We're back. All right. Let's see, dude. Make sure. Let's look at our starting position. Wow, they do start off small and spread out. Okay. All right, I will just give it a sec. But yeah, as I'm waiting, let's check it out. Look at potential allies we can make. Hmm. So who's around us who could actually help? Ah, culture map mode. Well, yep, yeah, that's um understandable but disappointing. We are surrounded by different cultures. I wonder if the Punix will help us. Let's see. Culture map mode. Okay, then. This is going to be interesting. The Etruscans against Rome. Nope. Trescans or Rome. We have to side with one. Which one's a safer bet? I guess the Etruscans are probably going to expand less. Alright, Republics. Always interesting. Nope. There's many that are just not interested at all in some sort of agreement with a bunch of the northern 
Northerners. So what do we have here? Rome definitely looks like the strongest option. They look like the weakest. Ah. No, I just started. I've uh, not... I've purposely actually not done anything. I was just looking at potential allies. So, no, you... I waited. So, yeah, you have made it. Alright, so this is the starting situation. We have... A few provinces... No, that's, that's all good. All good. So, yeah, we have um, this. So, we have two provinces that are just massively separated. So, it's going to cost us an arm and a leg to get them back. Now, we're going to need an ally. That part is obvious. We are surrounded by a, a di different cultures where it's so yeah like there is no other Hellenic friends apart from a few of these tiny little teams down here. So um, quickest way for me to do that would be play a map mode. That would be player map mode. Do, 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 do. There, players. There we go. Out of all the provinces, I own those ones there. So, yeah, it's this one here. These two. Well, it's that one and that one there. Quite small. I am a very small starting player, uh, power. So we're looking at allies. Now, it looks like when it comes to a larger power to ally, we have two real options, Etruscans or Rome. Both of them would ally us. It's just about picking the right one. It looks like Rome will probably come out on top. Even though the Etruscans could win, but they would have to fight really well. So, let's ally Rome. It's the safer bet. As we haven't played Massilia before, the safer bet's probably the right one. We will go with um, boosting our national, our income pretty much. Slave output and religious idea for. Okay, now. Omen. Population growth. Yeah, population growth. We want iron and we want horses to our capital because that will allow us to make a stronger army as we are going to need to expand.
next option is grain. We want more manpower. Yes, this does look like a very difficult start. I would definitely agree with that. I'm not going to put anything serious into the army right now. We will train it up to get some military experience, but that's about it. We could even get more imports, so let's look at more grain. This will give us an abundance in our capital. Hmm. Well, wow. elephants would be interesting, but we will not have the economy to sustain that. What we need is something to help Slow tribesman happiness might be good. Promotion. All right. One more. So all the trading goods you do, if you hover over, that'll always tell you benefits. And having a surplus in your capital, surplus in the province, that kind of thing. It is quite good to note. Um, all right. There we go. Time is starting. Let us invest when we actually finally have enough money for it. Rome had it looks like they have accepted our alliance. Can we have any more alliances? We Two active. So it looks like we've pretty much hit our alliance cap. Missions. It's something I haven't even gone over on the Frigia start, just because it's so insane. We have um, Far From Home, Matter of Ghoul. Matter of Ghoul, Ghoul, we'll do this one. So, da, da, da. this should give us claims. And All right, so we'll go with goal for now. We'll go back to the other one if we need to. So let us get some claims. We have a strong ally and that's important. And I don't know if they're gonna help us, but let's 
we can do with the claims. Oh, that's a big alliance against us, though. We're going to save up as much money as we can. Hopefully we can get some mercs, or we'll just build a really nice army. We have the imports to do that. We have iron coming in, so that means we can get heavy infantry, archers, and cavalry. Their armies are going to be mainly archers, light infantry, and chariots, so we would have the advantage in a battle. As long as we pick our battles right, we should win. And pick out the opportune moment, moment to strike as well. What we also have going for us is... I'll show you good technology. We have a research efficiency rate of 110% because it of the amount of c citizens we have to the other populations. Effect the battle, there is. There is actually quite a lot you can do. I might not be able to show you this in with Massilia as much only because we have to really pick our war carefully so I don't even know if we'll get to a war at the beginning we'll start prepping for one but yes I will go over that um, rival at court oh, I don't really care about a rival is he his head of a mem okay. I'll be nice to him. Alright, we'll go over armies. Okay. So uh Alright. Here, these are the different tactics. Now that could because I just have archers, it's saying skirmish or bottleneck. That's gonna give me uh, ten percent, uh, slight bonus to the damage I do with all my archers. Now, as well as that, is if you choose a better tactic than the enemy. So, if you're, if I choose bottleneck, and they choose shock, I'm going to do an extra ten percent damage against it. Though, if they choose skirmishing, I'll receive an extra 10% damage. So, the tactic your generals use is actually important. Um, yeah, there you go. Alright, um, that's one way to affect the battle, is choosing the right tactic for the battle. You could do this numerous ways. Alright, so it looks like Frigia is about to get into all those walls. That will be interesting how the AI handle it. Good luck to them. Alright, so... So choosing the right tactics will get you a bonus. Now, it's pretty much one dice roll of a bonus if your tactic beats the enemy. So that's... So you could do that a few ways. You could... Ha if you have two armies, you send the army with less... Um, Marshal. So this guy has nine. So if I had two... I would send him in first, and then I would send another army behind with ten to change the tactic. Because the army with the better marshal will become the leader. So that way you could s kind of see what they're using and then change it to the preferred tactic. That's one way to change the tactic in your favor. Another one is just certain areas because of troop compositions usually use certain tactics. For example, in Greece they use a lot of the phalanx 
because they're using a lot of heavy infantry, which get a bonus with a phalanx. And your troops, your troops will play a large part in the battle and how the battle is decided. Now, these are the troops we could build here. Heavy infantry are really strong against archers. They will smash archers. They will wreck chariots and they will wreck light infantry. Actually, that's pretty much everything we're going to be fight fighting as... Vasilia, so it might be a good idea for us to get a bunch of heavy calf. Heavy infantry are going to not do... They're going to not lose to archers, but not have a bonus. They will have a bonus to chariots. They'll have a bonus to light infantry. And our archers will just have a bonus towards their light infantry. Oh, we are at war. Of course, I will accept and we will send our army because we want the pops. Oh, wait. Let's just... Go. All right, we're sending our army to help Rome. So we are at war with just a few of these little tribes. So we will probably head and try and cap that fort there of an enemy which has six cohorts. I actually don't see his cohorts. We probably would. That's probably not wise right now. We'll head somewhere else. Oh, no, there they are. Yeah, so it's all good to go. Yes, I know. But um, they would have to get passage through many different nations. Because you need to get given passage to be able to send your armies across. So it's definitely a risk, but I should be fine. As long as I don't get stack wiped. Okay, I. That sucks. I, um. Oh, they may. It's a risk. But I am in a defensive league as well. Rome's not my only ally. We start in defensive league with some of our neighbours, so that will allow me time. Oh, no, that's... I, yeah, that was not wise.
But yeah, we I feel like we have to do that because we're going to need Rome to support us in our war. So we'll do a bit of light supporting in theirs. Yes, there we go. Rome's going to take out their large army, or not. We have terrain benefit. They have a stronger army, so... Rome should aid us, or one of these other allies. So we'll take this battle, head on. Oh, that was... Yep, yeah, we did not have the tactic penalty and that's really cost us yeah we we lost our general in that ah uh, ouch I don't have 50 to lose. I'm going to lose 50 no matter what. Lame. Alright, Epirus has just jumped into the wall. Alright, well. They know we helped out. So, that's our... Jaunt done. We came, we lost. Rome won. Oh, so we have mercenaries at home. They they would cost not a bad fee. We have to get our money up. Right, seriously, we're earning nothing. So, our choice is we could actually recruit a couple more troops. And then we'll, we will be able to help out more in the war. Oh, there goes a bunch of our trade. Alright, we're 
are recruiting a larger army. Okay, do we... Hmm. Rome still looks like they have this war, so no need for us to help. And with everything taken by Epirus, which jumped in and did really well, actually. Choosing when to attack. Alright, so I will grab supply train as well. Missions. Oh, we have finished that, so we have claims. All right. Once Rome is at peace, we will do our first war. Oh, we're losing money. That sucks. All right, let's stop training. That might fix it. Mm. I did not do my mass well. So attacking them is probably... Hmm. Alright, um, who would help? Rome would actually help me. They're in this war, so as soon as the war's over, we'll, we'll go to war. I just really hope my economy flatlines a bit more. So, we can do this. Oh, the money sucks. But that's important. We'll go into debt. I'm sure we'll get some. Our stability's okay. We can suffer the penalty right now. Alright, that's it. We will. We sh I'm just 
I'm really tossing out whether we send our army to support Rome or not. Uh, they're winning it. They're still really grateful that we're here. So yeah, it was definitely a good call for us to join and help out a little bit. And I think we declare now. Well, well, um, Rome will definitely help us. All right, we have take Alps. Yeah, why not? Worth it. All right. We're at war with our neighbors. We've got to find their fleets. Their armies, I mean. Wise. Yeah, why not? Planes. There we go. We'll fight them here. No. All right. We'll wait for them to gather. We'll just pick our battles. All right. We need a something that's going to benefit all of our troops, which is actually phalanx. That'll benefit the most of our troops. All right, let's try and get some. Mm. That is a real sucky military bonus. So we'll go with Aries. We'll change it. Um, all right. There we go, we got them. I knew. Oh, I missed them. Okay. It's just about picking the right battles. As planes, we should actually still have a decent time of that. There we go, they're going to try and defend it. That's two victories for us. Oh wow, look, I really fast forward it before without noticing. 
Bye, man. So yeah, we have slaughtered every enemy army that's tried to hit us. Another one. So, what's their mil tech on? Zero. Alright, so we're also two military advances ahead of them as well. So our attack our troops also fight better naturally. So we are doing well against the both of these combined. And that's w without Rome. Rome has now peaced out. So they will be on their way. Oh, Rome pieced out from my war. Rome broke our lines, in fact. Lame. Did they? Yeah, they broke our lines. Brood. So, Massilia definitely has a bunch of advantages. See, even though they start off small, their neighbors, even allied together, are actually quite weak. They have numbers, but my troops are better. A lot better. There we go. That's a lot of enemy dead. So soon, we'll be able to actually link up our territories with a war with these guys.
So yeah. Mycidia, yeah, it definitely has a lot going for it. Like, these enemies, as long as you, I think as long as you build your army to counter their, so like their barbarian units, with some heavy infantry archers, some light cav, they just falter. Oh wait, that's too K I can just destroy. Alright, so just waiting for this siege to end and then I'll head back and crush the ones in my territory. Sorry about that, I just got a bit distracted. Alright, what do we got here? Unfulfilled province promises. Oh well, that sucks to be you, doesn't it? Let's go crush these upstarts now. Characters imprisoned. Slavery for you. Slavery. Oh no, you're, right. you're captured. Mm. Slavery for you. Alrighty then. Please give me access. Pretty please.
you actually have difficulty getting there, that's my biggest problem. Mm. All right, let's piece out of this. All right, as you can see, Massilia has grown. Look at that. We have our some nice little territory. Oh. We can't even declare war on these guys. Let's do that. Also, I don't even remember getting that many troops, but... 8,000. Yeah, yeah, I did. Let's quickly wreck this little state here because they're not allied to anyone. And my Senate will allow me, so let's do that. So look at that. Nice and easy. Yeah, nice, easy avenues to expand. Um, yeah, why not? That's, I don't like losing money while we're in war, but we're about to get a bunch from this siege. We'll send the Admiral. He's a little right. Mm, kinda. Yeah, go. He is not loyal. Not a fan.
Well, this... I see definite advantages of Massilla. We could snowball. Once you take them, we could theoretically go straight to war against these guys. Alright, now let's check the buildings. The forts are good. Good placement. They haven't really built up, so... Probably wait for war. So this little team is actually a tributary under these big, bigger guys, which have nothing really, so they can be dealt with. So it'll be nice to link our borders up. What decisions do we have? Any nice ones? Do, 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 there. Dictatorship, I like that. We need a lot more popularity. Tyranny we can get pretty easily. All right. Join us. see well while the overlords at war this will be a good time for a very quick kind of finishing war Kind of larger than I expected, but we still got it, I think.
There we go. Thank you. Thank you. I am... I definitely underestimated them. Their neighbours, at the moment, we have a nice tech advantage. So it's really easy to expand. There might be massive consequences later. I'm at war with a lot. Oh, actually, not that many more troops. Oh, actually, no, quite a lot more. But still, I still think I got this. As long as I pick my battles, because my manpower is not that great. So if I lose a big battle, that could really set me back. Once I take this fort, that's the war goal. So that's really important once you take this war goal. We should be able to peace out on a relatively... Yeah, no, this campaign is actually quite fun. Because there's a lot of options. Quite a quick growth. And yeah, it's... um. Easy fighting. Considering how outnumbered I am, I'm able to win really decisive battles. But you... What I am trying to do is keep an eye on my manpower. I have I have a lot more troops in the field than I can actually um, reinforce. So I just have to remember that and not get too eager for battle. Well, Epirus and Carthage are in their little alliance. Hopefully they can curb Rome, like slow Rome's growth down. As they're no longer our ally, we don't necessarily want them to grow. There we go. That's the war goal, Siege 1. Who else am I? So I'm at war with these two, as well as that one, but they're too busy fighting another war to really deal with me. A heel fort, that's, considering they outnumber me, that's a risk. Alright, we'll see if we can just piece out for what we have. No, alright, well. We will keep advancing then, but we did try. Let it be known we tried for peace. No, why well, would I accept a white peace? Oh, I'm already locked into this combat, and this is not a great combat. We have a disadvantage of terrain, but we still win quite easily.
Uh, so in that giant battle that you saw, I only suffer like only have to replenish a hundred troops. Um, yes, I do play Rome too. I haven't played it in a while, to be honest. But no, I have played it extensively. And more than happy to shoot up, um, do a campaign at some stage. I really enjoy this Seleuce, um, Seleucids in that campaign. Had a really fun multiplayer head-to-head uh, -head with a old an ex friend of mine that um, played as Rome. That was quite fun. Oh, heavy infantry discipline, that's what we need. Oh, heavy infantry is already cutting the enemy down. So, added discipline on that. Oh yeah, that, that would be fun sometime. No, definitely. I'll be interested. No, I just play vanilla, to be honest. You know, I'm happy to check out the mod as well. I have to see how it runs. My computer's having a few CPU issues. So I will have to see how the just base game even runs, to be honest. Yes, and they're locked in. No, they are not locked into this combat. Well, that sucks for them. Oh, yep. One of them's locked in the comp. Some of them are locked in this combat. I have an advantage. And there you go. Extra morale for my army. That was quick. It's probably easier for you to add me on stream. Um, I'm just called the same name as my Twitch. I will, um, cause after this, I'll go through the chat and I'll try and add you. It's just where, how far back it goes in the chat.
All right, we'll see how. I'm... All right, we'll go here see if we can pee. That was a very nice battle. Well, as you can see on the stream, I got the request I will accept once the stream's over. <laughs> oh, the deficit's not great. Oh, there we go, some more cash. Awesome. That should keep me going for a little bit. Well, my troops reinforce. Not many left. Yeah. Yeah, I'm an Aussie. Hopefully lag's not gonna be an issue. This might tick over in our favor. Oh, I did not. So this is going to be a hard battle for us to win. Oh, they actually have heavy infantry. Not enough. Not enough. And now they're just getting creamed. I'm, um... Like, Eastern Australian time or something along those lines. Can never remember the names of the time zones. Sorry. But I can tell you, it's 12.30 at night for me. Yeah, it does. It's frustrating. Come on, this to Oh, really? Come on. Get the siege. Burn it down. The enemy still really outnumber me and... That's a fact I have not forgotten. There we go, look at that. Nice and easy. Just wait for them to move out of this province. There we go. Mm. 
why would we accept? I gotta be careful. Last time. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty insane. Everything here wants to kill kill us. There we go. Nice and easy. Now for my mission, let's see. Take that area, that area, that area. Nothing, oh yeah, that area. Well, may as well keep going. Actually, I should probably rest my army. Just stay here until I get this peace deal sorted. That's a lot of territory gain. Look at that. All right, I'm going to call it here for the night. Oh, and thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this stream. Now, yeah, I, there will be a recording on the, the Twitch. It will auto upload. But yeah, I believe you were here for pretty much the whole stream. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And yeah, um, all good. So a quick wrap up of how it went was, yeah, you start small, but the chance for expansion is actually quite huge. Like you are two mil techs ahead of all your neighbors. So if you just customize your army to fight them, so you build a similar army to what I had. So you, you already start off with three archers. You add two cav, two heavy infantry, one supply train. You will be able to counter pretty much what the barbarians will have. They will outnumber you, but you will win the battles. So it is actually quite a good starting team, quite a safe starting team as well. With the options to ally the Etruscans or Rome. Now, Rome was not that good of an ally for me, but could be just I wanted them to fight a war when they were in a war. That was probably not that great. I should have probably held on to that a bit longer. Use them when only necessary. But yeah, like, you have good expansion opportunities. Alliances, they're a bit harder in this region for you. You are Hellenic. Look, you are the only Hellenic. Oh, there's a few tiny little, again, one province minus. But yeah, um... We did well. We nearly completed the missions, which are to take these areas. And that will give you bonuses. All right. So I'll end the stream here. Thank you for tuning in. If you want, I'm more than happy to continue this campaign as well. I I started on Iron Man mode, so it is saved. All right. Um, catcher. This is Elf King out.